Hey, my name is Igor Tolstoy and I am the product lead in Kotlin. Many of you want to know about Kotlin's future. I am happy to share that we've updated the Kotlin public roadmap to show our new plans for 2021 and beyond. Watch this video to learn about the five most exciting highlights from this update. The new Kotlin compiler is a huge and growing project. When fully completed, it should bring significant performance benefits, enable compiler plugin API support, and give us the opportunity to create new language features. We've just released the new JVM backend part of the compiler, and now we focus on other pieces. First, we need the new compiler frontend. We plan to release it in alpha with the JVM support. The alpha version will work only on a specific subset of user projects. When enabled explicitly, the new frontend will provide you with compilation speed twice as fast as it was before. Our second point of focus is bringing the new Kotlin JavaScript compiler to the stable state. To do this, we need to implement two major missing features, incremental compilation and source maps generation. Do you have a utility function in your code base that makes Kotlin's when statement exhaustive? I bet you do, and I hope that soon you won't need it anymore. We plan to introduce sealed when, a long-awaited feature that has 230 votes in Utrecht. The specific language design isn't ready yet, but the general idea is to enable the compiler to warn you if your when statement is not exhaustive. This will make your code safer without having to introduce your own functions. PMM is Kotlin's approach to building cross-platform mobile apps. We continuously improve it, and now it's time to focus on iOS-related tooling. We have three exciting updates in this area. The first one is the new Kotlin native garbage collector. We have already prototyped most of the components required for creating a simple garbage collector. The next step is to write a multi-threading capable GC implementation. It will still be slow and not production ready, but we hope to release it to the public later this year. Our second goal is to improve the integration of CocoaPods with KMM. For now, we are aiming to support dynamic frameworks, publish Kotlin shared modules as pods, and investigate other issues to improve the user experience. The third one you're definitely gonna like. I think anyone who has tried to create a KMM project for the first time noticed an obscure pack for Xcode function in the Gradle build file with a complicated Xcode integration logic. We plan to hide this task from the default build script. You won't need it in most straightforward cases anymore. The Kotlin team maintains three big libraries, the standard library, coroutines, and serialization. It's impossible to choose just a single feature in this area, so I want to mention three of my favorites. Multi-platform support of suspend tests and coroutines, which will improve the test suite for both KMM and JVM-only projects. Integration with Java I.O. streaming in serialization to support deserializing huge files. And getting rid of double bang after the readline function, which should make the syntax of Hello World programs more intuitive for newcomers. We believe that WebAssembly will become the new standard for creating rich web applications, and Kotlin should be a perfect fit there. That's why we've decided to go all in for Kotlin Wasm. We've already started creating a dedicated team that will work on it full time. We plan to iterate on performance, work closely with authors of the WebAssembly GC proposal, implement basic Kotlin language features and libraries, basic Gradle support, and add experimental JavaScript interop. Those five updates are just my favorites from the list of 48 features that the Kotlin team is focusing on right now. Follow the link in the description below to get the full picture and explore all the details about the upcoming changes. Share in the comments what feature missing from Kotlin you'd most like to see implemented. It could be anything from a language feature to a library or specific tooling. We will continue covering Kotlin's future in the next videos, so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye, and have a nice Kotlin!